All right, this is a recap of an alternator replacement on a 2006 Audi A6 wagon with a 3.2 V6 engine. All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to take the little cover here that has the Audi rings on it off. Um, there's the mount point here and a mount point there, it just, it just pulls up. And then you're gonna to wanna to get a fairly large, um, in this case we used a breaker bar, a half inch breaker bar with a 17 millimeter um, Husky uh, socket. And in this case, what we did was once you take this off, you can actually see the whole belt assembly and you'll see all the different various pulleys and all things like that. And I actually put a little diagram right here of the, the belt routing. So you'll see the way that the, the belt goes around um, the alternator, around the idler, um, down to the tensioner, around the crank, up the AC power steering, back around the water pump. So you wanna keep that in mind or just you know pause the video here, but that shows you how the belt goes back. And you'll see where I pointed out the tensioner right there with an arrow. Um, so that is the 17 millimeter uh, point where you'll take your, your socket there, uh, like we're showing here. You can actually see, it's kind of hard to see, um, but if you back off of the, there you go, right there, you can see it. That's the little point. So you take your 17 and your bar, you put it on there and you, you tighten it as if you're tightening it clockwise. And then that'll release tension on the belt and then you can actually slide it off. And what we did was we would put tension clockwise like we're saying, and then we slid it off the water pump here. And then once you do that, you can take the rest of the belt off. Um, so that's, that's how you get the belt off. And then of course, keep in mind that routing, um, this routing here for when you're putting everything back. But um, the next piece of this, we'll be talking about how to pull the alternator off. So, so once you do this, you can do the alternator. All right, this is the next step after you pull the belt. Actually, you probably should do it before, but um, you're gonna want to of course, disconnect your, your battery so you don't, you know, cause problems or uh, have electricity running through the alternator when you're taking it apart. But um, all you gotta do is struggle a little bit to pull this apart. Struggle a lot to pull this apart. And then you just take the cover off the battery and then of course you'll find the negative terminal right there. Um, just it's a 10 millimeter socket. You just back that out, pop that off. Um, I usually put a microfiber or some kind of rag around the terminal so it doesn't accidentally arc. Um, but yeah, once you pull this apart, you should be able to go to take the alternator off. All right, this is the view of the alternator when you're under the car, of course, after it's been safely either jacked up or, um, or raised somehow. Um, but you can see the alternator here. Like I said, we've already done this, but once you have the belt apart, which it won't, it won't be there anymore, um, you have access to the alternator. Um, there's a couple things you have to do before you pull it out. Um, so you're gonna have to um, take this harness. There's a harness right here, um, this one actually, that goes along the side of the alternator here. There's a mount point right here, so you'll see actually um, between those two bolts, there is a place where the harness actually clips into the alternator, it's a metal clip. You're gonna to wanna to pull that out. You can just pry it out with your hands or like a flat screwdriver or something. Um, you're gonna follow that down. There's the same clip actually between these two bolts as well. Uh, there's two bolts right there, there and there. You can see the clip right there. Um, so again, these these two bolts at the bottom for the alternator and then those two bolts up there are the top ones. And you pull those metal clips out to get the harness apart. Um, and then there's another mount point. Um, I put a zip tie actually right there to keep it a little bit more steady. Um, but those two are the mount point, and then you'll see right, actually right there, is the field wire on the back of the alternator. So you're gonna wanna disconnect that, it's just a clip. Um, you put a like, flat screwdriver and you pry it out. And then the other connection is actually, you can see this plastic cap right here. There's a wire that goes from the, actually the starter solenoid this way to the back of the alternator right there uh, behind this little plastic cap. So you pop that off and then that's a, uh, 13 millimeter nut. But you can't get to this one because the uh, motor mount is actually right there in your way. So you can't get a socket on there. So what we did was uh, we took these four bolts apart, turned the alternator sideways, and then pulled it out ap you know, after it was off, before we took this out of the car, just to make it easier. Um, but like I said, you have to take the harness apart there, there, um, and then you're gonna want to follow, there's another, there's a Y in the harness, right there. You're going to want to follow that along the front of the oil pan, pull this out, it's just a plastic connector that, that pops in there, and then pull out the uh, the level 
sensor plug too, because it's part of the same harness. What you're gonna do is take this all apart, like I said, and then you're gonna want to swing it up and out of the way. And you can basically just you know, stuff it in this little gap right here, um, so it's out of your way. And then, um, and you may wanna just do this before you, you pull the alternator off. Um, we, had, we found this out the hard way. Um, this is the ground to the chassis uh, for the motor. You're gonna to wanna to pull this out. It's a, six, uh, a 13 millimeter as well. Pull that apart and uh, just, again, stuff that also in this up here in this gap. Um, and then this, this harness right here, that is, uh, I think, zip tied to another point right here. Just cut the zip tie and also stuff this up in this gap. And the whole point of this is the alternator will not come out if, if these wires are here because they're in the way. So once you stuff these up higher and they're out of the way, um, it'll be much easier to get this out of here. And that's the whole point of taking these apart and just moving them out of the way. And then um, once you take the, uh, the four bolts off of the alternator, those two up there, those two down here, just be careful because it will fall. Um, just have, if you have somebody else helping you, that'd be great. Um, or just support it somehow. And you, you pull this off. And like I said, you want to take that, that 13 millimeter off, which is the main positive connection to the uh, stutter solenoid. Um, you pull that apart and then um, you can finagle this out. Now there's one last piece, which is you'll see that the radiator hose, the lower hose is actually gonna be in the way. There's not enough space in this gap. I know we removed, we removed this harness out of the way. We swung out of the way. We moved these wires, that's, that's great. But this is still kind of, kind of be in the way, this, this hose right here. So what you wanna do is have a second person um, just with their hand, with their finger, just very carefully, you can, you can actually compress this hose this way, like towards the radiator. Um, like I said, be careful, don't, don't apply too much pressure. If your hoses are brittle, you're probably gonna wanna change them anyways, um, but just be careful. You can compress it a little bit and squeeze the alternator out of the space. Um, and then basically when you put everything back together, it's everything in reverse. I know people say that a lot, but in this case, it really was easier to put it back in because we kinda knew what we were doing. And this actually ended up being a big piece of it. So make sure you move these out of the way um, and make sure that you be careful with this hose when you go to take this out, but it will come out this way. And of course, when you put everything back, just make sure you, you, you put everything back the way it's supposed to be. This ground strap is very important. Um, zip tie this properly. Uh, of course, make sure you have your bolt tightened up. There, you're not tightened up there. Put the field wire back. Make sure you route this wiring properly. Put it back in the clip there, back in the clip there. Follow this one around from the Y to the level sensor. Make sure it's plugged back in. And then, uh, of course, make sure your hose is in good shape. Don't uh, didn't cause any leaks or anything like that. It's very important. And then. Uh, make sure this this ground strap is tight and everything's buttoned up looks good and uh yeah it should be good to go and of course before you mess with anything on the charging system always make sure your battery is disconnected at least the negative terminal so you're not going to you know, cause any arcs or hurt yourself so um but yeah and then of course once you put everything back you're going to want to put the belt back but you can refer to the earlier part of this video for how to put that back in a, a belt diagram but yeah uh, overall not too bad just not as easy as it looks, but it's, it's not that bad.